Yo, what's up with you guys? It's your boy Jan Hunter Jr. And check it out today, we're gonna be diving in deep into the MK Sensation Extreme. Before we get started into things, I just wanna give you guys a little backstory about myself. For those who don't know me, I am a music producer from Fairfield, California. Got my start on drums, made my first public appearance on the internet on gospelchops.com doing the triple backbeat. Later started getting on the keys and did the official shout on YouTube. Then went to Berklee College of Music in 2012 and that was super dope. After graduating from there, getting my uh, Bachelor's of Arts degree in Music Production Engineering, I later went on to produce for The Walls Group, Janine White, Naomi Rain, Anale, and many other dope artists. So let's get right into this thing. Let's check this out. All right, so we got the new MK Sensation Extreme pulled up here. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the updated interface. This interface is definitely <laughs> more fine-tuned i feel like you have more uh, hands-on with your controls you have more versatility you have more options and i can basically fully customize every patch in here so let's talk about this you have like your amp controls um you have your basically your control over the whole patch your range, your velocity, you got all this new stuff. I mean, this is extremely detailed. Um, you have your attack, hold, velocity curve, way much more in tune than just um, the line that you could just bend uh, in the previous version. So I really like this a lot. And I also like that you can select each patch that you're in and customize them individually. I can mute patches by hitting the red color icon and that will disengage itself so right now we have the we got the piano if i hit that red icon it mutes it so like i don't know like maybe you're in a live service or something like that and you just want piano boom hit the green button then when you want to bring everything in boom you know what i'm saying so really easy to navigate so let's segue into the next point let's talk about the new worship patches these worship patches are definitely updated more modern really love these a lot so let's check this out dope so these patches are the sx grand the aqua pad the bath we have i think i turned the d50 stack off yeah i did and then we have the backing string so um, we can solo through each of these so here's the piano next we have the aqua pad Makes you feel like you're on the beach, just smooth worship. I actually like that a lot. So let's go into the bath. It's like a smooth pad. I really like that <laughs> bath. Okay, so we'll mess with this cutoff. Make it a little bit fuller. All right, now let's bring that in with the rest of the patches. So this is what the sound sounds like with everything on stock. So you have the D50 stack on the top if you want to do some. Really dope. So let's check out the D50 stack. So that way you can accent your, you know, your worship licks and everything and embellish them. Man, this joint just sounds so full in my head, in my headphones. It sounds like it's consuming 
everything. So I really wanted to highlight these. Um, of course, we all know the MK sensation to be known for, you know, the MKS traditional sounds. And we're going to dig into those in just a minute. I call those like the legacy patches. But I just wanted to really emphasize the updates on, you know, you can really get that modern sound now using the MK sensation. So really wanted to highlight that. So I actually like this new piano. Right, guys so next let's go into the new stuff let's go into these analog synths so you got some really good stuff here you got some bass bump sign pad after touch all that so let's check out these uh let's check out the bass bump <laughs> These are some heavy patches, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm loving this. Let's dig into another patch. That's the bass bump. Let's check out the analog fresh. Ooh. Chorus for days. Jeez. <laughs> all right let's check out let's check out a couple more of these analog patches analog meets keys let's check this out Like these are like pop, like y'all don't get it. Like this is beyond church. It says gospel musicians, and this is for you to use in your church services and your gospel records. But I'm trying to tell you, there's some value in these patches beyond just gospel stuff. All right, let's get let's get into one more. Let's check out this uh, Porter My MK pad. I like this. Yeah, man. Killing it. I would use this probably majority of the time in church, like straight up, like just... Yeah, 
Yeah, man, this will definitely be used in church. All right, guys, so we've had some fun with the analog patches. Let's get into the standard. So let's just go into the standard default patches of the uh, MK that we all know and love. And let's dig into these. So here's the MKS out the box. So same drill. You guys know what it is with the MK. You got your uh, classic piano. You know, all that good stuff. You got your standard piano. You got your standard uh, piano too. Same thing with the piano three. This actually almost sounds like the um, piano out of the uh, JV, I believe it's the 2080. Yep, harpsichord, you guys already know what it is. Same thing with the clav. Same thing with the uh, vibes. Same drill. EP1 dry. Then your EP2, the classic piano, we all know. The classic EP, we all know. Yeah, I like that tape behind. I can hear that little hiss. Really digging this. So this is dope. And then, of course, you can get the EP that has the effects on it, the out-the-box core stuff. So... Here's what we're all familiar with. Of course, this sound. Same thing there. Then you can change the room size if you want. If you can get rid of the um, get rid of the reverb altogether. And this is what we're all familiar with. And this EP sounds more like an MKS that's been used for a little while. Like it doesn't sound like a brand new MKS. Like that that chorus on there, like a brand new MKS is a little bit deeper. But this is like that standard MKS that we all know, especially us MKS original module users. This is something that we're familiar with. So I do want to sum this up for you guys. I will say like this is an all in one situation. You have your good grand piano. We talked about that. You have your MKS standard stuff and you have your synth patches, but you also have some layers for some praise break stuff that we're all familiar with, but there's some new stuff in there. So we're going to be uh, doing a quick example with the shout. Um, praise break patches and then we're going to do some shout clips um, using these different patches and then we're going to close this thing on out so let's get into it so I'm going to load up the stacks and then we're going to go into west coast shout since I'm west coast you already know what it is <laughs> This is something that I'm definitely familiar with. This makes me feel like I am at home, at, like like playing in my dad's church or something, that classic West A sound. I actually like to use the EP2, which is this, with the chorus, which is perfect, that's spot on. Then we have the Hugo bass. That's just, that's, I'm very familiar with the this sound, the both of these patches together. Um, both of these give me that very familiar with that sound. That's that classic West Angeles sound. I almost feel like I'm <laughs> like Bishop Blake is getting ready to step up. All right, guys, let's check out the shout track. Let's test it out.
said, guys, this is nuts. This is the Let's Have Church stack. It just fits right into the track. Super dope. So what I use in the shop patch is pretty much the Let's Have Church. We have the EP2 with the chorus. We got the Mondo BS. We got the Profi Brass, the Matrix Brass, and the Hugo. So it's all these joints lumped in. Really, really dope, guys. All right, guys, I hope you guys got some value out of this content and check it out. You can head over to gospelmusicians.com and purchase this right now, the MK Sensation Extreme. This is definitely something that you need to add to your library. Like I always say, we ain't nowhere near done. Peace.